Welcome to another tutorial on the MoFi 5500 router. Today we're going to take a look on how to run a general troubleshooting on the MoFi router. So basically the reason you might want to do a general troubleshooting is probably because your internet just dropped or you're having some sort of issues. A little reset might fix the problem. So let's get started. Let's see how to do it. So as always, first we want to make sure our computer or our laptop is connected to the MoFi router. As you can see, I'm already connected to the MoFi. Then we want to open up our browser. In the address bar, we want to type in the default IP of the MoFi, which is 192.168.10. That one. And then this is going to bring us to the login page. If you haven't changed it, the password is going to be admin, all in lowercase, and that should take you right in. Once we're inside the router, the first thing we want to do is we want to go to MoFi internal modem 1. And if you scroll a little bit below, we want to go to configuration. At this point, uh, there are a few things to take a look at. These are all of the settings of our internal module. So first thing we want to check is the carrier ID, if this is red, the carrier ID and the current access point. So a lot of the times, just in case the router is not detecting the SIM card, it might say not detected. Now that's going to be a problem. We want to make sure that at any cost, this carrier ID needs to be read. Now, the number displayed for you could be different depending on what carrier you're using, but it, it has to display some sort of numbers. Just in case it shows not detected, then this is a very high indication that the router is not detecting the SIM card. At that point, you might want to take out the SIM card and try to reinsert it properly. You may take a look into our SIM insertion video that we have on our channel to help you aid inserting the SIM card correctly. So once we're here, all the way to the bottom, we want to click on reset module. What this is going to do is this is going to reset the settings related to your module, which connects to the tower. This is not going to erase all your settings inside the router. So running a module reset could probably take about two minutes. We'll wait until the router comes back up, and then I'll be back with you. All right, now the power light of the router should come on solid green, and we are ready for the next step. Speaking of the lights, there is one thing to keep in mind. Just in case during any process you see that the lights on the router are not coming on, or say for an example, all of a sudden you notice no lights are coming on on the MoFi router, it might be a good practice to check at the back of the router. There's this little LED on off button. You want to make sure it is turned on. Now that we know that, let's proceed to the next step. Once we are done with the module reset, you obviously want to make sure you're reconnected to the MoFi router. This is very important because Sometimes our computers will have the tendency to connect to a different Wi-Fi network the moment the MoFi router is rebooting. So make sure you're reconnected to the MoFi router and then you want to click on something, you probably will have to re-log into the router. So type in admin and then once we are logged in, we move to the next step, which is doing a factory default. And at this point, this is going to erase all your settings in the router. If you had a Wi-Fi name and password before or any other settings inside the router will be wiped off. So if there is something that you might want to save, you might want to take a screenshot or note it down before you do the factory default. Now to do a factory default from the list on the left, you want to click on system. Little below system, you should be able to see factory default. And then on the right, you want to click on perform reset. Before you click on perform reset, please make sure that keep cloudling and remote management settings is unchecked. And we're going to go ahead and do perform reset. Really reset all changes, we're going to hit OK. And this is going to erase all the settings in the router. This process is also going to take about two minutes, so I'll be back with you once it's done. All right, so we should be done with our factory default. You might have a similar page in front of you right now, but that's fine because the router disconnected and it went through a factory default. So that's completely fine. You just want to make sure that you're connected back to the MoFi router. Um, if you had a previous Wi-Fi name that might have changed back to something default, like you see right here, so I'm connected. I'm going to go ahead and load that page again. So you can just reload the page or type the numbers in again, 192.168.10.1. Uh, type in the password admin, all in lowercase. It should take you in. Uh, so we're done right now. After factory default, you want to do a quick check on a few things. 
Firstly, if you're using internet via SIM card, then you want to make sure nothing is plugged in to the WAN port of the MoFi router. It's usually the blue port at the back of the MoFi router. So refrain from entering any cable in that one. And now once you are logged into the router, go to MoFi internal modem and then configuration. We want to double check that the carrier ID and the APN shows up. So as you can see, the carrier ID shows up. Your APN, again, depending on what carrier you use, this will be populated by that. Now, just in case if your internet service provider provided you with a certain APN or a certain access point name, you might have to enter that manually. And in order to do that, you can either go on the top and then for your country, you can select either of these options. If you're in the United States, select United States. And for your access point, you can select range of access point. These are the presets set by the MoFi team. So if any of these are your APN, you can select that. If not, then you can just simply go to click here to set up a custom APN. And then under APN field, you can delete whatever is in there and then type in your access point. So say for an example, it's going to be broadband. You want to type in broadband. And then on the bottom right hand corner, you want to click on save. Once you hit save, it will say applying changes and takes a few seconds. Uh, this will apply the change to your module. And as you can see, your current access point will read broadband indeed. At this point, if there are no other settings required to change from our provider, then we should have a working internet connection. And the way we can test this is by going to status and then we can click on general. Once you're in the general section, you will see there is a button that says check internet status. You can click on it and if it gives you an IP address from your provider, then you know that your internet is working and you're connected to your provider. And that's it, it looks like we are connected. So that's usually everything from the general troubleshooting. One final thing you might wanna do is check your signal strength real quick so in order to do that you can click on MoFi internal modem and then click on signal strength status this will view like how strong your signal is around your area how many signal bars you're getting and all sort of other nifty details on the right so you want to make sure that you have a good signal in order to get good internet there is another thing you might have in mind is the carrier aggregation as of right now says inactive and that's that's quite normal uh, the, how the carrier aggregation works is for the router to detect it, it's going to need something, uh, some sort of internet usage in order for the carrier aggregation to kick in. And this usually happens when you're streaming video. So when you're actually streaming video, you can come here and you can see if there are available bands around you, the carrier aggregation will indeed be active. So that's about it from the signal strength side and that's usually everything that you need to know for the general troubleshooting. You can check out our other videos if you need aid in them and hopefully these tutorials will help you. Have a great one.